Definitely a great performance piece. That will make sense if you see the movie. It was different from how I was anticipating it to being. Like, I was kind of basing some assumptions off of just the little I had seen in trailers, and it ended up being way off. But nevertheless, it was a good, enjoyable, edge of your seat, what's gonna happen type film that I think it really did well in encapsulating like the suspense of a of a spy thriller. It did a really good job telling its story. Well, I'll just start with this. Yes, Jennifer Lawrence is naked in it. Sometimes nudity can be part of the story There's element. There's a point to it. People giving her crap for being nude in a movie, like, when you watch the movie, it makes sense why she is nude mm -hmm. in the movie. And you should probably already know that anyway by watching the trailer, so I'm, I'm done with you. It was a tight little spy thriller. Uh, great performances all around from Jennifer Lawrence to Jeremy Irons and the whole cast did really well. Kept you guessing a lot. You you thought it was gonna go one way, it spun around and went the other way. I thought the sh shots were great, the music was great, and it all tied together really well. Mm. The shots in this movie were really well done. Like, that's something I noticed from the get-go of just some of the opening shots of just setting up this world. It's very much like a very pro-feminine thing, but again, there's a point to it. Like she's trained to be this way and it's there's really a chess match going on between all the characters and it's just great to watch it unfold, the psychology of it all. I think what kind of separates this one from other, you know, Pro women movies. Mm -hmm. Take a movie that we've also reviewed, like Atomic Blonde. Yeah, that's basically a female character act like acting like a male character would. Yeah, this was definitely much more of no, no, no. Let's play into the female strengths. Mm -hmm. Let's like both of these are going to be very two different types of spies between male and female. Let's see what a female spy would really be. And I think Jennifer Lawrence pulled that off really well. Yeah, I mean we don't have a lot to say, but that's because you can't give a lot away in the movie. How do you review a spy thriller without giving away? Well, Taryn, do you tell them to go watch it now? Wait till later, uh, maybe on Blu-ray Digital or to burn it with fire. Um, I would say see this one in theaters. Uh, not only is it beautifully done in terms of the artistic style, but it's also just a really good movie to see at the beginning of 2018. You should definitely watch it. Uh, yeah, great cinematography, great acting, uh, good story that keeps you invested throughout the whole thing, and uh, great music. Be sure to subscribe, hit that, there it is, hit the like button down below. Want to make sure that our sponsor is 1-800-KB-Pizza. Don't drive, just dial. And we will catch you next time.